Okay, so the next step we're going to be looking at is passing data. So passing data is taking info from one view controller and passing it on to the next one. So we're going to do something very simple here. We're going to add a text um, field to our first view controller, and it's the green one. And what we're going to do is whatever we're going to put in this text field, we're, uh, it's going to update the um, title of the next text field. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, before we get started, what we need to do here is um, we need to create an outlet for this. And we're just going to create the outlet and we're going to call it uh, my text field. And we're going to connect it. Now we no longer need the storyboard and we're just going to look at our Swift file. So there's a function in Swift that you need to use and it's called the prepare function. So just uh, type in prepare. And uh, it's really the first, uh, it's the first um, function here. And uh, let me just go over what this does. So essentially the prepare function prepares, uh, this function is called up whenever a segue happens, right? So it's for segues. And essentially it prepares the segue prior to the segue taking place. And you, you would put any code here that you want to uh, pass data through, right? As the segue is being prepared. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go segue dot destination right so the destination of the segue dot navigation title navigation title uh sorry navigation item navigation item is the um let me go back here just to show you navigation item is uh this thing right here right at the top the title bar and then uh where am i here let me just do this so I get some more space. Navigation item dot title, right? Which is our title. That's what we want to change. And we're going to assign it a new uh, property and we're going to assign it the text uh, field uh, text. So it's called my text field dot text, right? So my uh, text field is called my text field. And whoops, not test, but text. So we're going to go to the text property of my text field. We're going to take that string and we're going to apply it, assign it to the title of the navigation item in the destination segue. Okay, awesome, pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see how that works. We're going to simulate on an iPhone 8 and we're going to see how that works. Okay, so this thing has loaded now, so let's have a look. So initially, if I just go to yellow, the title, um, uh, there is no title here right but if i type in some title and press the yellow it'll say some title if i go back and call it whatever right this will become the title of the next segue pretty cool awesome okay the last thing i'm going to show you here is how to perform segues using code okay so before we get uh, to that, we actually need to do some cleanup here. Um, because so far what we've done, um, what we've done, all we've done is we've um, made segues using like clicking. So we've segued from one view control to another by clicking either the buttons previously here or these buttons up top. So we're gonna go ahead and delete all the segues that we've created, okay? And, um, and now we're gonna, um, go to the view controllers uh, dot swift and we're going to do some cleaning up we're going to get rid of this um, I guess I could even get rid of this in fact the text field is no longer needed I'm going to start from scratch essentially okay great main dot storyboard okay so now we're going to decide um, where to go so we start off with green okay but we've got two segues and we're going to go to either yellow or red um, based on some code, okay? So check this out. Uh, so instead of actually manually making segues uh, from a button, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create segues this way. So I'm going to go to the actual uh, view controller. You've got this little orange circle. And I'm going to draw, um, uh, right-click and draw. Um, and I'm going to say create a segue here. And I'm going to create a segue here. Now you might be thinking, okay, great, these are two segues, uh, just like before, except what do I press? The, this button doesn't exist when you simulate on the app. Of course not. 
So we've created a, what is called a generic segue, and we're going to use code to execute that generic segue. Uh, but we're also going to put some logic in there as well. Um, so what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a switch. And uh, feel free to follow along in the book as well, um, because this stuff is all in the book. I just want to show you how it's done here, just in case uh, you're having trouble following the book. So I've got two buttons here. I'm going to really quickly rename this to, uh, let's make this to yellow. And I'm going to say this is to red. OK, great. So when we press these buttons, um, this is green. Let me go ahead and change that to a color because the switch is usually green. Let me change that to I don't know, an orange or a pink. I guess that's a pink. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Um, OK, so now we can see the switch. I'm going to make this bigger and I'm going to make this bigger as well. OK, great. So now we're going to write some code so that when the switch is on, these buttons are activated. And when it's uh, and uh, if you click here, it'll go to yellow. If you click here, it'll go to red. Uh, and if it's off, doesn't matter where you click, it won't go anywhere. OK, great. Um, so let's jump on to our code. But before we do that, let's make a quick um, outlet for the switch. So I'm going to call it my switch. And I'm going to make two quick um, I'm gonna make two quick actions for my buttons. I'm going to call that two red. I'm going to make another action right here to yellow. OK, great. Fantastic. And I think I have to do one last thing here. Um, when I click on the segue, I want to give the segue an identifier. I'm going to call it uh, yellow. And um, let's give it something cool here. Segue, oh, segue to yellow camel case. You could call this whatever you want. This is just an identifier to identify the segue. And this is segue to red. OK. Perfect. OK, great. So now we're just uh, going to need our code here. And we're going to do some coding. So we've got an outlet for the switch. We've got two outlets for the buttons. OK. Made a mistake. I don't want outlets. I want um, actions. So let's go ahead and make sure we delete these connections. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. And now we're going to make two different connections. And they're going to be actions. So this is to red. And this is to yellow. There we go. Perfect. OK. OK. So now that we've got our actions, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to do a simple, the simplest possible if statement. So we're going to say, if um, my switch right, oh, right here right, um, is on, right? Uh, and this essentially is an if statement. So if this returns back a true statement, then it's on, right? So if my switch is on, if that's true, then execute the following code. And we're going to call up this, um, we're going to call up this um, function within Swift called perform segue. And it says, OK, we're going to perform segue with identifier. That's why I had to give the segues identifiers. And if you recall, the first, uh, the fir uh, one of the identifiers for red was segue to red. Now, you have to type this exactly as is, OK? And center, we're going to go nil, OK? And we're going to do the same thing for this function, right? I'm going to copy and paste this, except the only difference here is um, it's segue to yellow. And that's pretty much it. So now if I run this app, we should be able to segue to yellow or red using our code, using the code that we've written here, if this is on. So if I turn it off and I press these buttons, nothing should happen. But if I turn it on and I press this, it'll go to yellow. 
and this will take it to red. It's as simple as that. So that's how you segue using code. Perfect. Thank you for watching.